the set J and B are given below. So the set of J is equal to the set of um, C, G, and H. And then B is the set. The set of B is um, A, D, and F. So find the intersection of J and B. And find the union of J and B. So the inter first we find the intersection. So um, the intersection, so given the two sets, J and B, the intersection is the set that contains elements or objects that belong to A and to B at the same time. So basically, we find J intersection B by looking for all the elements in J and B have in common. So we write intersection as this. So J, so this is number one. So we call this one number two. So solution. So for number one, so J intersection B. So basically it's the um, um, objects or um, numbers that they have in common. So for J, it's C, G, H, and B is um, A, D, F. So they don't have um, members that are um, common. So this the uh, intersection is um, going to be empty set. So they have nothing in common. So empty set. The empty set. So for number two, find the union of J and B. So um, given two sets, these um two sets J and B, the union is the set that contains elements or objects that belong to either J or B, or to both. Basically, we find J union B by putting all the elements of A and B together. So let's do that. So we put, so we write J union B as this, like this. So we have A and then we have C and then D, G, F and H. So it contains all the elements in J and in B.